Well, well, well. It's just another Tuesday morning. Just joking, it is actually day 30 of the 30 day film challenge that Scott McKenna put out. And so this is my day 30. And so I figured, why not talk about things that I've learned? But it's day 30, thanks for joining along. Catch you in a little bit. Uh -huh. Thing before I go I actually brought the SERP magic carpet slider the two-foot home to record the marriage step Monday yesterday if you didn't watch it go back and watch it if you want our marriage almost ended after like six months and we explain why but look this is what I'm doing so it's moving it's a parallax move in my office like why didn't I do this the whole time what was I thinking I should have had this going in my vlogs it would have added production cinematic value but that's even important to what we're doing. But anyway, that's the SERP slider. Hope you like. It just shows that messy corner over there, which is like a Taylor acoustic. I got my bow. Did I tell you that I bow hunt? Well, I try to bow hunt. Let me say it like that. Um, I've been bow hunting for two years. Haven't seen a deer yet when I go. I hunt a, I, I use a Matthews um, Halon 32. I'm, if I continue the vlog, maybe I'll show you my bow skills. Anyway, bow staff skills like Napoleon says. All right, that's it, on to my day. Ooh, it's, it's cold out today. One of the things you gotta get used to living in Louisiana, and I don't, I've only lived here my entire life. I lived in Sulphur, Louisiana, Carlos area my entire life. But yesterday, it was 65 degrees yesterday. I mean, it was short and t-shirt weather, and then today, it's like 36 degrees. So I'm gonna talk about a couple of different things that I've learned from vlogging and videoing myself for 30 days. The first thing I'm gonna talk about as I'm on my way to the office is this. I refuse now to get upset at people who I follow and subscribe to when they don't upload a lot. Because now I understand what it takes to make a video, a vlog, every day, at the same time doing your job every day. That's, that's hard because even doing the little b-roll sequence that i did of me walking out the house so you do everything three times you have to walk set the camera up walk back walk out the door walk to where you're going then go pick the camera back up and then reset the exposure for the next setting so vlogging is really difficult unless you just want to do this if you just want to talk to the camera it's a it, it's a little bit easier but what i found to make your vlogs more interesting and to add some some storylines because transitions have to happen for stories and so what I'm learning what's helping me by videoing myself for 30 days is thinking about the story think about the transition so I was just in my office how did I get to my truck well I showed my feet walking okay how did I get to the office well I'm driving my truck right now I use b-roll for transitions a lot of times now if I'm running out for this vlog I'm running out of time then I'll just jump to the next scene. I've said that before, like, hey, sorry for the crazy transition. And so I've learned what it really takes to put together a vlog story, and I'm not even the best at it, but I can tell my storytelling and my transition has improved in vlogging for 30 days, and I can't wait to see what it's gonna do to a wedding film the next time I film a wedding or I film a commercial. So that's the first thing I learned. Okay, on to the office. One more thing. Alex Morrow from Alex Barbershop in Vinton, he saw me wear my hat on the video and he said that if if, a, if he gets some business from that, if he gets a couple of y'all to go in and get a haircut, then my boys will get free haircuts. As you can see, I don't need a haircut, but my boys will get free haircuts. So go visit Alex Barbershop. This video could be sponsored by Alex's Barbershop. So go see Alex Morrow in Vinton. Tell him I sent you. Yeah, hook me up. All right, so just got to the office. My wife is actually here working. 
she just was in my office when I got here. <laughs> I have to get some edits done. I just realized that my upload um, for our church failed, so I got to do that, do some testimony videos, and then um, and now I'll be back to tell you the second thing I've learned through vlogging for 30 days. So I want to talk to you about the second thing I've learned through 30 days of vlogging is I'm a perfectionist. I like to have the perfect lens, the perfect camera, the perfect audio. Peter McKinnon has this saying on his YouTube channel. He always says, done is better than perfect. And what I've learned through these 30 days is that sometimes the best equipment that you have is the easiest equipment to use and shoot with. So using for the last couple of days, I've been using the, the Sony 6500 with the Rode video mic, and I'm actually liking how it turns out. It's a lot easier to carry. It looks better than the Canon G7X I was using. It doesn't, it's not as heavy as the C300 Mark II, you know, all that stuff. So I've learned to quit making excuses about equipment and just get out there and make something. Just go out there and create something that is, um, that is done. And the third thing I figured out is this is that my life is a little more interesting than what I thought it was. I, I look at my life as I work at a church, I own a little film company, la di da But what I found out is there's people on Facebook um, and YouTube who are watching, who are commenting to me in public going, hey, I saw your video. I walked into Walmart the other day and some random person saw me and says, hey, I saw your post um, from a friend on Facebook and, and man, I'm really liking what you're doing. That means the world to me because I, I did not do this for subscribers. I did this just to make myself create something where it didn't have to be perfect. And to find out that people are actually starting to watch it and compliment it. So our Marriage Tip Mondays, it's amazing to me that people are, are commenting and, and hoping that we continue it. Just at lunch today, I got a text from, from somebody who doesn't even live in our area who said, hey, continue the Marriage to Mondays. I, I think those ought to continue. I had somebody this weekend says, hey, don't stop the vlog after 30 days. Me and my husband watch you. Um, we watch all your videos at night when we're laying in bed, which I think that's so amazing. And so thank you so much for all that. And so what I figured out is everybody's life is interesting because guess what? It's your life and there's only one you and this is your journey. And so that's the third thing I learned. All right, back to edit and I'll tell you my others. So one thing cool that I did this morning is um, I actually backed my first Kickstarter thing ever on, online like that. I saw that um, Levi Allen, great channel if you don't follow him, the Levi Allen, he posted about a switch pod and good marketing by those people. And I saw the switch pod and it's for vlogging. And so I backed it. And when I started backing it, it had like $7,000. Now it's up to $31,000 pledge. So my first ever um, Kickstarter campaign. So if you like vlogging, the Joby Gorilla Pod has always kind of been like the go-to. Well, this new thing, it looks so much better. So I pledge, maybe you should too, help him out. Good stuff. So that's gonna be it for today at the office. I still have some audio correction to do on that um, testimony video I was doing, but I'm gonna go home, spend some time with the kids, do another little edit, and then we got wrestling practice. So on my way home, I'm gonna share the fourth thing I've learned from vlogging for 30 days straight. What did we do before seat warmers and trucks? I know what we did, we manned up. I don't need no sissy seat warmer, even though it does feel good. Number four thing I've learned through vlogging for 30 days is I have a lot more time than what I think I have. But not to be cliche and use words like hustle, but what I noticed is I have made 52 videos in 30 days. 52! Like I used to struggle to get a video out a week because like I said last time and in the, in the last part was it had to be perfect. I have created and filmed 52 videos in 30 freaking days. Well, how did I do it? Where did I find the time? I woke up early every morning. First thing I did was go to my office before anybody was up in my house and I started just editing. 
I stayed up a little bit later and edited it. Kayla called me a pawpaw. And the reason why she said that was because I was the night owl. I've always stayed up till 1 a.m. and I always woke up at 6 a.m. Like I just never required a lot of sleep. But now, since I'm waking up early and using every moment of the day to be productive and create these, this content, create 30 vlogs in 30 days, create commercial projects. I had more commercial projects in a two week span than I had almost all of year, all of last year. How did I do that? I maximized every moment and the moments that I was awake, I was, I was working. And then I would shut it down and have family time. And then I would go back to work whenever the kids went to bed, whatever it took to get this done. So I realized I have a lot more time than what I think. So my goal of putting out a wedding film a week, that's doable. I think I can put out two wedding films a week now because of this time. So that's the fourth thing I learned is I have more time to, to, to produce than what I think I do. Tell everybody what you did today. Division. Tell your audience something wise. <laughs> Trust in the Lord. So back in my office, and this is where I'm going to end this vlog today. So about the four things I learned, I learned much more than that in 30 days of vlogging. I learned that I do have comments. I do have things to share that I've learned in 10 years of doing video business. And I've been asked, am I going to continue this? And I am. I'm going to continue to do vlog style. I'm going to continue to do marriage tip Monday. I'm going to continue to do the wedding tips every now and then. And Scott McKenna, who issued the challenge, he said this, don't, um, on a, I type, we're doing a live chat and I asked him a question. I told him, you know, the marriage tip Mondays are really working good. And he said this, um, make sure you do one video for yourself and one video for the, for what people like. And I just don't want to make videos for other people, um, for you to enjoy. I want to make videos that I enjoy making. And I do enjoy making the marriage tip Mondays with my wife. Cause I think those are so important for who we are as people. It's like, that's who we are. Um, but also like doing gear reviews. I like talking shop with people. I like talking about what cameras I use. Um, so there's a lot of stuff I wanted to do in the vlog that I actually scheduled to do. Like what cameras did I start with? What do I use now? Um, why do I like the C300 Mark II and not the Sony? You know, there's so many things that are, that are totally geekery nerd talk that I like talking about. But along with all that, the community of people that I found on YouTube through this 30 day challenge has been amazing. A couple, like one guy in particular, Say Park, um, I think that's how you pronounce your first name because I watch your vlogs. Dude, we have a lot in common. We're both 36 years old and we, you know, the work at the church and then owning the film business and the kids and all that. So just being able to connect with some of these guys and, and guys from Europe and guys from Australia and just that tight, that tight knit community of creators and filmmakers. And so I started this vlog, I started the 30 day challenge to make myself get out of a creative rut. And I really do think I accomplished it. I'm finding, like I said, riding in the truck on the way home, i find that I can create stuff faster. Um, say Park and those guys on a, on a recent live stream, they talked about how that he called me a machine because I'm just producing, producing, producing. And truth is, it doesn't take me long to produce these, these vlogs. It doesn't take me long to edit them. And so I've gotten a little quicker on my edits. I think uh, Marriage Tip Monday yesterday took 20 minutes to to cut. Um, a normal vlog takes me about 30 minutes. And so could I spend more time? Yes, but I'm trying to get buy with the idea of going, it doesn't have to be perfect. Yes, client work, I want perfect. Wedding films, I want perfect. But for these type things, they don't have to be that perfect. I know people will disagree with that because it's like your brand, but I've accomplished what I wanted to, to get out of my creative rut. And the fifth thing that has popped up, number five, from doing the 30 day challenge, is it has given me another opportunity for business. Um, I can't tell you the details yet, but there's something big that I'm going to be a part of when it comes to creating content for, for other people as well. Um, hopefully I can let the cat out of the bag pretty soon, but, um, but I don't think it's going to be soon cause it's just now in, in like pre-production type stuff. And so 
business opportunities have come. I still want to introduce you to a lot of my friends who are business owners and, and talk about them. And I'm, I may even, I like dialogue. And so I do the church podcast. I may want to even do a YouTube podcast where, where we talk about gear and we talk about owning a business and what it looks like and, you know, all that type of stuff. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you for encouraging me. If you're a friend, like I just got a text today, we're eating sushi to celebrate 30 days. And I got a text today saying, Hey, keep up the vlogs. We like watching them like those type things. I just want to say thank you for supporting this crazy idea as a 36 year old, picking up a camera and bringing it into the grocery store to film yourself or bring it to a skate park and film yourself with the kids. A lot of great memories over 30 days. And it's great that we can look back as a family and look at how much we've done in one month of 2019. I do believe that this is going to be the best year yet. But it's only going to happen if we make it happen. So we got to get out there and do it. Let go of whatever's making you stop. That was the first message Monday I did. So what's what's stopping you from doing what you want to do? Just let it go and start doing. Start if it's creating, if it's being the best husband, being the best wife, whatever it is. Just do it. No one's stopping you, except you. That's it for today. I probably won't be back tomorrow because I'm going to get on some wedding films. I've completely haven't edited weddings in a while. And so I need to edit. I got an eight weddings backlog. I'm going to try to knock these things out in, um, in eight weeks before we go skiing in March. And so that's going to be it. I'll see you when I see you. I promise it's not going to be long. On to the next one.